is the cryptocurrency halal or haram? And if you want to know what is halal and haram, where do you start? Is it CNN or the New York Times? Huh? If you want to know what is halal and haram, you go where? First to the book of Allah. Yes. To the Quran. And you ask in the Quran, what is money? And the Quran will tell you that in order for it to be money, it must have intrinsic value. The value of the money must be in the money. Whatever it is, it must have intrinsic value. And then you ask yourself whether paper money has any intrinsic value. No, it does not. No? The only value that paper money has is fictitious. Yeah? It's extra outside. Maybe in the pocket of George Soros. So the cryptocurrencies will be even less. <laughs> less validity than the paper money. And being anything that is money. It's actually bogus and fraudulent and haram, no matter how they try to dress it up with a pagri and a dari and uh, call it by some religious names. The fatwa will come soon enough, yes. Uh, it'll be, no matter how convenient it may be that you can bypass the banking system, you can send money to and fro so easily now. And then Malaysia joins the pack and makes cryptocurrency, bitcoins, uh, legal tender. And Iran joins the pack and say, okay, we also want to do the same thing. And Russia joins the pack. And Venezuela joins the pack. And China joins the pack because they want to get away from American sanctions, you know, all of them. But you and I who want to be faithful to the truth which has come from Allah, you and I will say no, unless and until money has intrinsic value, we do not recognize it as money. No. And uh, one of the ways in which you can offer at least a micro response, because a macro is not possible, is to <coughs> buy gold and silver coins, or try to buy the raw gold and silver and mint the coins, and then retreat to the remote countryside and build small markets, micro, micro markets, and at least you will buy your daily sustenance using that dinar and dirham. Yeah. 